Hey everyone, Dubs Quizzy here, and welcome back to Icewind Dale. Um, hopefully you could see my cursor now. I messed with some stuff. I should have looked into that a long time ago. I've been meaning to, and, uh, and I was just kind of lazy. But it should be here now. Alright, so we're heading on into the Artisan's District, which is infested with Umber Hulks. They're everywhere. And they come out of the walls, so it's going to be kind of annoying. My Paladin and Fighter are going to have to do most all of the heavy lifting. I'll go rate this thing's back. Very well. Good as gold. I'll split you. <laughs> Okay, so everyone else just needs to take a step back and let these two move in. Alright, I forgot they had minotaurs. They're blind, so there's that. Well, they don't seem to be blind, given that they're charging. I'm not sure why they're down here. I always forget they exist, because minotaurs aren't very exciting enemies. There are also traps down here, but I think they're all located on, like, those eye symbols. Attack! Arms! Got a lot of XP for fighting some not-so-dangerous enemies. Definitely not all of them. This area is pretty big. This was where most of the Surf Neblin used to live. They had a big old forge down where Ilmadia's hold up. I don't think the castle was there before them, but it might have been. I can't remember. But this here, I think this is actually Dirtle and Atha. This, this is the main part of the town. I am on it. Yep, there we are. Umberhulks come out of the walls routinely around here. It will be done. You can count on me. One of them comes out of one of these houses eventually. I think that one right there. But he'll only do it later once I fix the voice of Dirtle and Atha. Okay, we got more of them. Let's actually we can we can choke them right here, right? Keep that keep more than one of them from getting through at a time. Oh, that was them. Ah. They keep on running around like stupid people. Why are they hitting the fighter so much? Are they all rolling high? Yeah, he just doesn't have the best armor class, so they hit him all the time. They still have to roll high to hit him, but you know how the computer is in rolling. My sword, it shall be done. So this here is the big weird, like, not really greenhouse. I don't know what you'd call it. I, I mean, I guess technically it's a greenhouse, but it's like this very strange, big old. What do they call it? Yeah, it's not really a dome, either. I don't know, it's a weird place. It's where Malavon makes his home. He's got all kinds of strange plants growing and stuff. He has the seeds for the severed hand... thing. Oh, more minotaurs. I've got a whole party, and I don't seem to need any of them for this. 
that's kind of the way that Icewind Dale goes, though. You just get so strong. The big, nasty boss enemies can still be a threat sometimes, but uh, a lot of the lesser stuff, I guess that, that's why it's lesser. Because pretty much anyone in your party can handle all of it. Who just leaves spell scrolls lying around? I'll wash my beard in your blood. Attack! I remember them bursting out of more areas. Yeah, one of them is supposed to come out of that house. And that hole in the wall, I think. Well, no, that's not a hole in the wall. It shall be done. Okay, so this one over here, that one already did burst out. I think one of them is supposed to come out of this house. Because you can get inside the house, the map shows it. Whatever. That slows you down. I forgot about that. Dang it, now I'm slowed. Okay. Malavon is up past that doorway to our right. I shall see to it. I want to kill these Umber Hulks first. He has a real weird obsession with eyes, so he takes people's eyes out Very all the well. time. I'm gonna, Surely. I'm gonna dispel. See if that fixes the situation. It did not. It removed the bonuses, but he is still Duty slow. Calls. That's annoying. Okay, so I think that's all of his other defenses. Levy has more on him, though. Oh man, he is so slow. Okay, it's done. I thought that we were going to get into a fight, like, immediately. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you say met, which you learn from the book. That shuts down the golems. Now kill him fast. Oh, what? I thought we were safe from confusion. Oh, the dispel. Right. Alright, everyone get inside, because his, his clone is going to show up any second. Well, actually, that was the clone. There he is. Sablokhtan always thought he was the master of magic, always turning me away. Yeah, see, he didn't like Sablok. What did he just do? Oh, no. He just threw a fog down. Okay. Get out of there. Cast this. I already used a spell, so I can't hit him with that. Let's try uh, smite evil. Yeah. So that's how it is. Understood. I'll actually Just get out of that first. Now try smite evil. You can count on me. That did not work. I will assist you in any way possible. The fog of is course. gone. 
All right, start clearing out the invisible stalkers, and let's try to get some friends in here. Go find him. He fled somewhere. Just annoy him out there. Alright, so he's doing a lot of dimension dory. But if he is willing... Okay, there he is. I don't think our magic's really gonna affect him much at all. So everyone just kind of charge in, I guess, except you use this. Get him. You can come. Stand and deliver. He just killed one of those gnomes. Oh, what did he just hit us with? Uh oh. Uh, well, he's got his Globe of Invulnerability up. I don't really have anything. My goodness. This dude just won't You're knock it off. Once. Don't Here go that, that way. Is that all? It will be done. No worries. I don't think this will work on him. It won't. Oh, why? That might. Got him. Okay, fall back. 75,000. Holy cow. Is that just for killing him? Okay. Okay, yeah, a bunch of Spurf Neblin up there died, a bunch of them in Who's here died. I save as much as I can, but there's always casualties in this fight. I mean, just look at me. My party yeah, well. barely made it out of there alive. I... There's his badge, though. Holy cow, 500,000? It shall be done. Alright, now there's these golems to deal with. My paladin can't hurt them, because his weapon's only plus two, and they take plus three or better. Is that all? But I don't think Let they'll me. fight back, and I just kind of want to get rid of them. Of course. Here I go. Now, they're not worth XP anymore. I don't know how much they're worth normally exactly, but I know it's more than nothing. Aye. Regardless, the slaves lived. Like an arrow. Okay. I gotta disable any traps that are on his throne. I don't know exactly where all the traps are. This place is always just such a chaotic mess that I can never keep the whole thing straight. More healing. We're just gonna go like whole hog on the healing. Hmm. Actually, he has permanent shield. What am I doing? I don't know. More magic missiles? Sure. Why not? three fourth level monsters. Not sure exactly what fourth level monsters are. I know Anisha is alright. I'll take one of those.
interesting. That tells you that it was Malavon's. Ready. Very well. Good as gold. Another one of those permanent potions. Wisdom plus two, dexterity minus one. What's your dex? Yeah, I don't think that's really worth it. For either of them. Wisdom gives some more spells. But dexterity is kind of important. Well, then again, at most, right, it'd be one point of Thaco, one point of armor class. Sure, why not have the druid do it? Yeah. I mean, more magic is more magic. Not a lot in level 2. And that's a nymph. Sure, nymph could be handy. Me? Like an arrow. Okay, that there, that's the potion that you can give to Ginafe. These here are the seeds that I needed for the severed hand. So now I have the last of the severed hand things. That's a fake potion. I don't mean to interrupt, but perhaps we should rest. That's a lot of powerful magic right there. Death spell? Oh, death spell's awesome. Okay, so I'll, I'll see if I can uh, give that to her and if it'll help at all. But I'm fairly certain she won't take it. That spell is an instant fight ender a pretty good portion of the time. But I'm fairly certain it'll insta-kill Umberhulks if you hit them with it. Just no questions asked, they're done. The power word spells I'm not a big fan of, because they only work on like weak low-level enemies. Can't do anything else with the Surf Neblin here. They can't talk, they won't talk, they don't interact with you. I'll be needing rest soon. But they're not under the thumb of Malavon and his cronies anymore, so there's that at least. We must halt and regain our strength. So this takes us to the palace. Very well. I guess it doesn't matter which way we take. We gotta get back to that watchtower and rest, because we have been beaten down. Paralyzed. Oh, that's not a cursed amulet. Can you stop giving me cursed objects? I don't even have enough magical objects. Like regular ones. You can count on me. Shall be done. I shall see to it. Duty calls.
They did a good job in this of making a spellcaster like Malavon actually a threat, though. Like, the way that he fought was uh, very well done. That's a nice dagger. It's not super great, but it's pretty good. This is a very good robe as well. Uh, the immunity to Umberhold Gaze is pretty helpful about it, but... You know, it can't beat extra spells. The mage isn't in combat enough to need all of the extra protection. But even when he is, he's got stone skin. He also has invisibility and expeditious retreat if it comes down to it, so he can evade combat if he has to. Or just vanish on his enemies, and he's got a staff that can summon a bunch of stuff if he needs to. Even so, things rarely get near him, though. And he's got a decent enough armor class as it is. Alright, we're gonna have to take out the voice again. Oh, great, but this time he has Salamander back you can up. Count on me. Can we get out of this room? I, shall see to it. I don't think the Salamanders will follow us out here, but uh, the voice might be up here. And I could take it down wall out here, and then not deal with it in there. Yes. Yes. I stand ready. Your army is as dangerous as the best. now, or what? That's weird. Something bugged, but I think it worked. Okay, so we have to kill the rest of the salamanders that are in here. Including their leader. And then we can free the rest of the uh, Sferf Neblin slaves. Alright, so I gotta kill Shikata, the Salamander King. And while I'm at that, I'll kill the rest of them too. He's up at like the top of the area. The blackness right above us can see us in right now. My sword is yours. Shall be done. Easy as goblin I party. Am your I son sleeps with your dead. Blood. I am on it. I stand. I. All right, let's I go kill him. This victory actions must speak louder than words at your command. It shall be done. There he is. He should not last long with the kind of fire I'm about to lay down on him. It shall 
I saw another one of them down here coming up. Guess not. Alright, well that's him. There's his super spear. It is a pretty strong spear, I'll give him that. Speak your mind. Okay, so that takes us to the Greater Forge. Both of these do. One takes us below, one takes us above. We definitely want to go to the above I one, but first ready. I'm going to have it my paladin go speak to Guelo. So he's going to head back to the camp, along with the rest of the people. He wants me to leave, but I'm going to go after Ilmadia, because she's in the next area. I can get her. So, it shall be done. she's below. He told me to go meet her. I think I can kill the I elementals, though, and no one will care. Because there's a bunch of elementals about this area. So I'm going to focus on that. It Take care of them real quick. Oh, there are more salamanders. Great. Can I just kill them from down here? How may I best serve? Very well. God's time, be strong. Must speak louder than words. The last of the salamanders in the entirety of Dorne's Deep should be in this area. Attack! Oop, and fire elementals. I am on it. Not a problem. My sword is yours. Elementals, water elementals, and fire elementals. The elementals aren't that strong, but they're not super weak either. Okay, so there's ones up there. I can area effect blast them, I think. Yeah, they, I don't think they like that. Got both the water elementals up there. But I think the earth elemental is still alive. Duty calls. Very well. There he is. I stand ready. I I think that's all of them. All the elementals at least. Uh, there's probably more salamanders up above and I should deal with them. Yeah, so down that route, Elmadia is about in the middle of the place. But she's backed by a large number of fire giants. And I'm terrified of them. Because they just hit so hard. Fortunately, they won't attack me until I antagonize her. And while I think they're supposed to be... Like, you would you would assume there's a, a non-violent way of, of dealing with her, but I don't think there is. You can count on me. At least yes. I've never known there to be one. Die. You can count on me. So 
they're trying to prevent me from closing their portals that are actually bringing them through. Because salamanders like this are from the elemental plane of fire. They should not be here. They're as native as the elementals are, which are coming from all of these different vats. Duty calls. Okay. I stand ready. So this here is the entrance to the Black Temple, or the Fallen Temple, they call it, I think. That place is a nightmare. My goodness. There are so many undead. And a bunch of clerics chanting to maintain them. Now there's a big idol thingy that has possessed the clerics. Destroying that ends all of the undead and frees the clerics from its grasp. It will also kill the voice of Dirtle and Atha. The issue with that is you then won't get the experience for actually completing the quest, because you didn't actually complete the quest. Right, let's heal up the paladin. Now what I'm thinking is, my cleric might be able to turn the undead, so I won't need to do all that much. They have a bunch of bladed skeletons, and they like greater mummies and zombie lords. This is a massive metal ship made to float along the magma so they can destroy a drow city with it. It'll bash through the side of a of the, the magma chamber here Duty calls. and flood an entire drow city with magma. But as you can see, there are fire giants everywhere. And I think I used most of my summoning, didn't I? No, that was before I rested. Three turns, that's not super long. Yeah, it looks like I removed the cap on summons. Which, frankly, I think it's stupid there's a cap on summons in the first place. If you want a cap on Celestials and Elementals, I understand that. Regular ones, I do not understand. Those guys that are with her usually aren't. I've never seen them before. I don't know what they are. Let's take a step back. She's gonna attack us. Tear her to pieces first. I do not want to be dealing with her this entire time. Got her. Alright. see here, what do I have? Let's drop a web over there. This over here. Here they come. It shall be That hit none of them. Oh, Snellox will. So will this. I don't think that spell's gonna work on anyone. Oh. 
I'm just using whatever I can. Oh, there's those priest mages. I don't even know what that is. Okay. All of you kill these ones. The other three are stunned. Um, it will be done. Let these guys come around. We can drop a dispel on the whole crowd. It'll hit us too, but it'll hit them. Uh oh. Oh, right. I forgot. I dispelled the giants. Um, what else can I do to him? I hit him with a chaos. You never know, it might work. Alright, move in, take his place. Looks like uh, Kreger has him pinned there. Okay, I think that's all of them. You can see why I was afraid of fire giants. Oh my goodness, my thief is on one hit point. Right then. Yeah, those priest mages. That's new. I've I mean it might not be actually new, but I've never seen that before. That's new to me. They were worth a lot. More than the fire giants were. And your command. You can count on me. Easy as copper. And there are no more fire giants back here either. So there's her batch. Ready? Yes. Very well. She is pretty dangerous. If you let her start swinging, she'll hit pretty hard. And you see, that's what I meant by uh, you didn't get like really any information on her. No one else really talks about her that much. And now she's dead. You can question her more, but inevitably it comes down to you need her badge, and she will say no. Plus seven damage, plus four Thacko. Oh yeah, my Thacko is good enough. Seven damage, that is a lot. What is this thing? Other being a short sword Malamon. Last word of use sword, so it's a Paladin weapon? Oh, it's extra salamander. Fire resistance. Less cold resistance, but more fire resistance. That leaves me with a negative 8 armor class, but let's be real. That's still an incredible armor class. How about this? Looks like it's plate plus 1. Has a bunch of extra damage resistance. Minus two versus slashing. But I don't think that's enough elemental resistance to make a huge difference to me. This sword can't be used by good guys. Or shield can't be used by good guys. Okay, we need to fall back and rest Very again. Well. Actually, no, we don't. We need to head up the Fallen Temple. I can't take out all the undead just yet. I, will I you do not you. have enough health to do so. But I can deal with the voice of Dirtle and Atha and then flee. Hopefully. Aye. It's a 
It's a good thing those priest mage guys spent so much time buffing themselves up down there. They let me focus fully on the pilot or on the uh, fire giants. My druid never even used static discharge. I had it on because I expected enemies to be getting all over the place, but didn't hit anyone. My sword is yours. It's a strong attack, but I don't know, it seems a little too situational for my taste. Which I guess technically is the case with Call Lightning as well, since you're outside so often, you basically never use it. it Alright, first things first. Let him talk to you. So he's just repeating these things. So he says, yeah, it's how he issues commands to the voice of Dirtle and Atha. Where there's the voice. Uh oh. Talk to me. So now I can tell him what Nim did. And dang it. That's exactly what I was trying to prevent from happening. Fine, let's give him a few more hit points. This is what was left. The bones that were within the armor, I think, that held it together. Whoa! No they are not supposed to be following. Okay. Surely I, I should be swift about it. Run, we gotta kill the skeletons now. Oh my goodness! This is bad. This is really bad. Oh my. Oh no. Okay, a bunch of them fled. Um, these people are going in the... Wrong way. I see. Very well. No trouble at all. I should be swift about it. Gladly. Turn that one too. It will be done. Of course. Okay, I think I've. I've I think well. he's turned them. He can't just kill them all outright, but he can Let's repel them. Ahead. Hopefully they'll all just all right. go back inside once they're done. But now that the Do voice has call. been neutralized, I don't have to worry about him attacking us anymore. Very well. Once I rest, these people will all disappear. I just need to get back to my tower. Yeah. Yeah, I can put those on another one on there because of the mods, so I won't do it. Let's start taking Summon Dagger. Duty calls. Duty calls. Yikes. That's a pretty strong weapon. It's an evil one, but it's pretty strong. I shall see to it. Very well. Alright, I'm gonna go meet with those Sphere of Neblin. And then I think they said they needed me to help them fend off some um, Umber Hulks, although I don't remember that ever actually happening. I remember hearing them talk about that, but I don't remember there actually ever being a fight in their village or anywhere near it. I think that's just about, like, going and stopping Malavon or something. I can't remember. 
It's always so weird. But now I can go get the thing in Malavant's district that I really, really want. Kill the last of the Umber Hulks, hopefully. this one real quick. Do that now. This is Pale Justice. Plus four, plus seven versus evil creatures. It's a Holy Avenger, is what it is. I don't know if I'll ever actually need Death Ward, but it's, it's a nice thing to have around. Okay, so let's see what we got. So that keeps your mind completely safe from everything. A bunch of symbol spells that I don't like. This just smites a bunch of evil things. But it doesn't deal direct damage. A lot of what it does is just kind of stunning, it looks like, and deafened. Oh, one just slows people for a turn. Confusion should not be a 7th level spell. But they have a lot of things here that just aren't that useful. 100% magic resistance, immunity to damage for the duration of the spell. Whoa. Only be cast by good aligned, and evil creatures cannot be protected by it. But it lets you do stuff for three rounds, completely impervious. That is pretty cool. I don't know. I'll take a holy word, I guess. You can count on me. I am on it. Why is that the only option? Like that, in dialogue, the only option I could tell him was, yeah, I like Marquette's style. Are you kidding me? So I guess just don't talk to that dude then, at all. That That's weird. That can't be right. Alright, whatever. Let's go see Goylo. Because he should be down here now. Shall be done. Okay, so I got 120,000. Yeah, see, then they don't mention the Umber Hulk thing, so... I'm not sure. Maybe that was a piece of dialogue that was meant to be something else, like a conclusion of this quest, and then they just never got around to doing? That could be it. I wish you could just cut up right here. That'd be so handy. And these guys shouldn't still be working down here. They should all leave. No one's keeping them bound anymore. Malavon and all of his Umber Hulks are dead. Nomadia and her fire giants have been stopped from me. dismantling the Great Forge. All of the elemental monsters are gone. I've wiped out the sentries, killed Marketh and all of his grand thieving bastards. The only things that are left are the undead in the temple, and 
those aren't moving. At least they're not, like, they're not going away from there. Palkalin needs them as guards, so frankly, the Surf Neblin should all just up and leave. No one's stopping them anymore. Well, I'm done with all of those other things that I need to get for other places, so now I can head over to the Severed Hand. Finish up a few side quests there. Four days of travel. Holy cow. Need to do something too. This. No one's gonna buy that. It's worth nothing. So I think I think we should just get rid of it. I am on it. I am on it. I shall see to it. Okay, so let's go to Corlon first. So I can go to the Arboretum and fix that up. water. Give him the seeds. You can kill the squirrels, but you'd have to be a real tool to do that. And then the birds. So once it was restored, he said his work was done, the place has been fully restored, and he could move on. And then his life was over, and he, or his unlife was over, and he's done. done. You got a bunch of XP out of it, although clearly Duty my calls. party needs absurd amounts of XP to level up, because we just got like I half a million or more out of that exchange, and no one leveled up. You can count on me. Yeah, that's a, that's a million experience that he's got. He still needs, like, 200... 200. No, he needs 20,000 more. Which is actually a pittance with the amount that we've been getting. I shall see to it. Duty call. So Laryl, even once he learns of Evane's fate, he's brought a lot more peace of mind. He knows that the dwarves didn't betray them Fire by that out. point. Because they didn't kill Yvain, and she worked with them and saved a bunch of them and stuff. Although in the end, they all died anyway. But with that, he says that he's at peace, and he hopes that his god can forgive him if he helps all of the other spirits trapped in the hand it to move on. He succeeds in that task. The severed hand becomes completely cleansed, be and done. when it is, he does in fact collapse into his pile of bones and no longer exists. So Laryl's existence does eventually come to an end. You have returned. Once again, I am humbled by the mistakes I made. 84,000, which isn't a lot, but it's something. It is good to see you again. For the first time in many centuries. And then I can get him to send me here. It feels like to be at peace. I thank you for giving that back to me. It shall be done. I will remain here in the hand to ensure that any elves left here will make it to the afterlife. Perhaps then. Labellus will grant me passage to Arvindor. Okay, so, with all that taken care of, I gotta bring the bones of that paladin to the Omatar Temple. 945,000. That's almost a million XP. Yeah, that's enough to level everyone up.
And that was level 14. Which is a pretty big deal for a druid. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if these stack. I think they do. I could just stack two of those on one place. That'd be pretty neat. Alright, so Firestorm, Sunray. The Cleric should have Sunray. Why doesn't the Cleric have Sunray? Or Earthquake. Or Firestorm. Those are all things that Clerics have. Creature within the mist will be cured of disease, poison, and heal 25 hit points. That's pretty neat. A Creeping Doom. Those are nasty. Earth elementals are strong. Nature's beauty. Yeah, that's a weird thing. It, it like, just screws with your enemies a lot. Two 11 hit dice shambling mounds. Yeah, we're going with that. That's that's real powerful. I am on it. Right, and then everyone else got magic too. Acid Storm's good. Finger of Death is good too. Morden Cane and Sword would be good if it didn't just summon a sword in your hand. It's supposed to be a floating sword, but for some reason in Icewind Dale it's a sword in your hand. Yeah, it lets you swing anywhere within the line of sight, but not very good. Let's say, uh, let's take Super Fireball. Another four, and more healing. Duty calls. And go on one last selling trip around Koldahar. And then I can go back to Auric and give him the book that he wants. Because I've just been kind of carrying that around for ages. I, I got armor. Plus six. Maximum hit points minus twenty-five. Physical damage resistance is ten percent. Oh yeah, see, got so much armor class. One twenty-five. Well, he's already got a bunch. Now I say let's do that. That seems like a good call. And 25's a bunch of hit points, don't get me wrong, but a minus 11 armor class, while Very still much. being able to dual wield, that's huge. Let's see if there's anything else I want to buy here. I don't think there will be. But you we can check anyway. Yeah, so, the Mithril Hammer, he says there's something interesting about it, but it's useless. Because the shield isn't even in this game. I paid 10,000 for that shield, and it's worth 500. I feel cheated. Alright, let's see. You got anything else worth grabbing while I'm here? Home of the Trusted Defender is good, if only he was a fighter thief. Spear of White Ash, Giving Star. He does have a lot of good stuff, but it's just not good enough anymore. I have a better crossbow than that, don't I? It does have a plus four dagger. Which, for my thief... Actually, yeah, his uh, offhand weapon is just a plus two short sword, isn't it? 
it got slightly less damage. But it is a point better than Thacko, and it's plus four, so it can hit basically everything. Yeah, I think that's a good call. My duty call. I am on it. An Auric also should have a bunch of extra stuff to buy now. in here right now. Does he really not want those journals? I understand the Mythal Theory one. He won't buy that because you need that for other stuff. But I feel like he should be buying the rest of this. And of course the keys, he won't buy as long as they're in here. I don't think he'll buy the symbol either. And he buys the journals, won't buy the notes. I do have a lot of money, but not much to spend it on. I can't remember if it actually follows me over into Heart of Winter or not either. Very well. Importing your characters in do this game messes with a lot of things. 36,000, that's not very much. Oh, and he gave me a nice cloak of some kind. Hopefully it's a nice cloak. friends once per day? Yeah, no. Again, it's a Scorchers, Burning Hands, Charm, Fire, Elemental Kin. And that's a robe. Meh, but it's not very good. That'd be cool if it could be usable by someone that wasn't a mage, because 1899 strength is nice. But spellcasting takes precedence, so it's whatever. Oh, can't do anything with the rest of those. even better version of that one. Did he say, perhaps in the future you may be worthy of such advanced knowledge? Dude, I, I, don't kid yourself. I have as much advanced knowledge as you do. You can count on me. Ready. Alright, everyone, well, actually, no, they don't need ready. to go to the evening shade. I'll go down here. At your command. You can go to the you smith and sell some me. stuff. It's going to take us, like, several days to get back to Worm's Tooth, so resting is not going to matter. I'll rest once I get there. At least no one's bugging me about being fatigued after, like, marching for half a week, though. You can count on me. I guess he doesn't want it. Very well. Okay.
We'll deal with it eventually. Alright, all that remains is the Black Temple and beyond it. You can count on me. I think this episode is going really long, but I'm trying to keep things I don't know, like stable's not the right word. Structured, I guess. The last episode will probably be exceptionally short. It shall be done. Because there isn't a, almost anything to do at the end. There's a couple stops to make, and then the end game. Aye. Very well. So it looked like going through here would deposit you up top, while the other one would take you to the lower part, despite how it looks. Also, why are all these guys still here? It doesn't really matter much. But it feels better when they're all if they would all just, you know, leave, because they don't have to be here. Very well. What's walking around? Oh right, these things are still here. I'm here. Alright, we're a bit beefy, so. Let's just massacre them. I think we can. Stand and deliver. <laughs> Actually, everyone clear out. It shall be done. You still have crushing wave. I see. Oh. That's what I like to see. Even better. It will be done. How can very well. It will be done. Get the druid out of there, and then just let's do this again, but with this one. <laughs> I love it. You can count on me. Okay, that's a bunch of bone guard skeletons down, but there's at least that many, if not even more than that, still inside, along with a bunch of greater mummies and whatnot. So. I need to keep a couple people free. Your command. Let's go. Yes. So the priests, you don't fight. They're helpless, but they also don't actually fight anything. Those things will hopefully keep a bunch of the skeletons busy. Shamblers, while not super strong as far as hitting goes. Alright, there's the big one. Okay, so they have some mummies. I think Word of Faith will actually screw with the mummies, though. Oh, let's get up there and use it. Or not. 
Okay, so... Let's just start whipping some nasty spells up there. Like this one. Forward. Oh, that hurts. You bolt of glory, that one. My sword is yours. Me? Oh, wow. Oh, there's still another one left. I, I stand high. How may I best? I should put it back. Me, more is coming. Okay, there's the others. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. Most of them are coming down. Everyone fall back. Ugh. Ow, that hurts so much. Stop that. All right, the shambling, the shambling mounds are not the strongest, most hard-hitting things in my arsenal, but they're just like a an immovable wall. Those things were hitting them with everything they had, and they couldn't kill them. Anytime. No, oh, there's the idol. Ow. Got it. Alright, the trance over everyone has been broken. The undead, if any were still alive, would all collapse at this point. First time I got here... My party got swarmed when I wasn't expecting it, and I lost everyone except my cleric, who barely made it out alive. He snuck back in with an invisibility potion that he had on him, got behind enemy lines, and destroyed the idol, and they all died. I prefer doing it this way. But it was pretty neat. I felt, felt pretty awesome. So he was an actual priest of Ilmatar, as were all these guys, and then Pauklin arrived and took control of everyone with his demon powers. And then now he can heal me. 
he also gave me his badge. So that's all six badges. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, Warhammer. Why not? Very well. I don't all think right. anyone else around here has anything super important to say. This guy, I believe, is just kind of broken. Yeah, he keeps on trying to, to chant. Alright, we shouldn't need to rest. Pokalin's dangerous, but I think we can take him. Now the wall of force at the stairwell is gone. I should have consumed all the badges. Oh, it didn't. Well, I don't need them anymore, and they're worth nothing, so I'm just going to drop them all here. Shall be done. <laughs> That's for cinematic sake more than anything else. Do I have anything left to summon? <laughs> because, like a real D&D &D boss fight, Pokalin does not fight you alone. I don't think he'll give us the Uxonomite treatment where he attacks without warning. So I should be able to move them into position before the fight actually begins. We still have a motion courage active and chaotic command, so let's get into it. Greetings, child of Ilmata. How are you today? Oh, I'm sorry. But Warren Shari, after centuries of Ixonomized, laboriously worded speeches... Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. Her speeches were quite... The only thing, as you probably already... I was... As soon as I arrived... So he was kicked world, out of the Hells, basically, because of a feud with Ixonomai. She follow. was kicked out, too. So after they started all, making armies and beginning to oppose each other. Years and a billion miles, but then, out a base of while, he was, while they were preparing to fight, he came across that, Crenshinibon. Crenshinibon. Something way stronger than him or so her. That it makes me seem young. A crystal shard with magical powers of such magnitude that Kaldahar's heart stone yeah. gem. It's like, like a... Um, it's almost a god... And it's got some weird intelligence of its own. It plays a part in a lot of Dridge stories, but I'm not certain of all the lore behind it. It's a weird deal. Just having it in my position. And that's how he was able to do everything that he could. Creatures of, despite the, 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 to, uh, and then he gives you his whole life story. The and then attacks. The <laughs> there are the centrals. I will determine how it plays out. Goodbye. Uh, so let's attack the sentries. I don't have much to hit him with, but I won't need a whole lot. Wow. Uh, let's chuck a death spell up there. Okay, he's just going to keep on bringing in more. The sentries are gone. The rest is not. Those are just going to hurt him. I'm not keen on stepping into the firestorms. Oh, he's fast. Okay, he's right back down here. Everyone charge. sleep with the dead. Come on now. Wail on him. There we go. In the heat of the battle. So he grabs his chest, which is where the, the crystal was hanging, and then a big flash of magical energy occurred. And suddenly we found ourselves back in East Haven. But now it was covered in ice, with the huge crystal tower just like jutting up above everything else. We're now in the final chapter of the game. I'm here. With a new rendition of the East Haven music. Sounds just epic. I shall see to it. 
This was his plan all along. He needed Hrothgar, and uh, he didn't like Akalia or that elf, Erevain, either, so he wanted to get all of them out of the way, along with some other people. So he had Craig Frostbeard, the king of the ice giants, drop an avalanche on them. He expected it to kill everyone, but we made it out. And just in case there were any stragglers, he had a bunch of goblins and orcs choke the passageway between Koldahar and East Haven, also trying to snow in the pass everywhere, because he could control the weather with Crenshinabon. After that, the stuff with, uh, with the Arlites and the Veil of Shadows, the Temple of the Forgotten God and Dragon's Eye, that was all Yuxanami, along with the kidnappings. The bad weather, the wild animals, and the evil humanoids and whatnot, those were all Pokalin. Or... I may not rest here. I Got it. Ready. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to rest, because this place will not cut it. Aye. But the town is infested with some monsters. Alright, I'll do that later, but I'll deal with that in the next episode. So it shouldn't take too long to clear out East Haven. Maybe 30 minutes, but probably less. I don't know. We'll see once we get there. We only have two real fights to get through. Um, and, and then that's it. Then it's over. But, yeah, that's all for this one. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.